everybody and welcome back to fsx where today we're going to be doing a short flight well not really short flight it's kind of an hour flight down to oklahoma city and uh first officer today is my dad and Howdy, yep and uh let's go to the outside view real fast we are flying the default 737 and i understand yes it's a piece of shit oh that's a piece of shit i need to go in a little, zoom in a little closer it is a piece of shit but <clears throat> it works as a shared cockpit v uh airplane um, for free, so it was just something that we could both fly. Um, so bear with us whenever we are using this garbage. All right, we're doing uh, flight 1315. Uh, so we're doing Be Good 2. They don't have Hagi and they don't have Pyong intersections, so we had to use other ones. Uh, if you open up your GPS, actually, Dad, you'll see that we're going to be going direct to freeze. Uh, let's see, is that shift three? Uh, yeah, shift three. So we'll be going yeah. direct to Freeze. And actually, if you hit FPL for flight plan, you can see our flight plan. We're doing... Um, oh, you just did it for me. <laughs> yeah, I did everything. So you've got Freeze, Snyder, Claire, Vichy, Springfield, Segler, Gully, Ove, and then we're going into Oklahoma City. Cool. Should yep. show the same okay. city. So once we get in the air, we can go to uh, nav GPS mode, and it, oh. the GPS will act as if it were LNAV. Yeah. So that's pretty uh, sweet. I'm going to try uh, zooming out on the GPS. See if it changes yours. Uh, zooming out? Yeah. I, I don't think that will. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. So I, I can do it too. Uh, oh, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. See where, where we're headed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I, yeah. On your side, out. go ahead and make sure we have nav lights on and beacon lights on. Navin Beacon. Navin Beacon. I will put our initial altitude to 2,500 feet. Had that much higher than that, but that's our initial altitude up to uh, Freeze Intersection. So let's get down to 2,500. 25, where you at? Come on, baby. There's 2,500. Taxi. Our speed, we're just going to go ahead and arm the throttles now. We're going to put the speed at 250 knots. Obviously, for obvious reasons. Okay, the rotating beacon is on. Alrighty, and we've got uh, uh, navs on as well. Uh, I'm looking for nav. It should be to the left of it, I think. It's terrible. The uh, the, the the graphics are terrible in it. The overhead, Local like reading it. Strobe. Mm-hmm. Uh, still looking for. That's the starter switch. Yeah, we got the beacon on out there. I see that. Um, nav lights. No nav lights yet. Uh, okay, there's taxi lights. That's all right. 2,500 looks good. Vertical speed. Right. It's going to be at about 2,500 feet per minute. One, two, four, five. Looks good. Course. It's going to be 302. Oh, 302. Where are you at? Oh. Any collision wing wheel well off. All right, I think we're actually we're ready to start the engine. So I'm going to go ahead and start our pushback. Release brakes, and we're pushing back. So we can start the uh, right engine. You see the uh, engine starters. There's the right one and the left one. Yeah. Right in the center. Yeah. Go ahead and start the right one up, and I'll monitor the uh, the engines, and then we and I'll add the fuel. We look. Uh, let's see. Uh, the ignition right? Uh, yep. Yeah. No, there should be two start switches. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you do? Go to flight? Yeah, it, yeah it's the only detent you can. There okay. you go. Is it doing anything? Yeah, it's going up. It's pulling up. When I hit about uh, five, I'll add fuel to it. Or actually, here in a second. This is default aircraft. You just got to give it air. You got to give it whenever you can. <laughs> All right. Oh, there it went. There it went. Right started. That'll complete our pushback. All right, go ahead and turn uh, engine one. Engine one. one yep. Keep an eye on those as they spill up. There it is, like so. 12, 13, 14, 15. I used to always just start about 20. Yeah. Yeah, it's, just, it's usually pretty good. The, th the problem is, is that this is a default aircraft, and sometimes you'll starve it. It's uh, so stupid acting because it's a default airplane. 
Um, okay, so we are we got two engines online. We don't need the APU anymore. I'll go ahead and shut that off on my side. Uh, yep. Engine starter switches, you can put those back to uh, the normal switch position or just in the... Just click each one back to its position. There you go, just like that. All right, everything looks good. No lights up there on top. Huh? I said everything looks good there and no lights on top, so that was fine. We're pushed back from our gate. We're actually going to be going heading over the 30 left, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip on. I am the showing nav lights on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It just it it must be slaved to something else, and I don't know what it was. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to taxi over to 30 left. And here we go. Uh, you know your that uh, third-party software that makes the cockpit vibrate. And yeah. Stuff, yep. That work. That's working for me. Oh, nice. Um, when the engine started, it kind of mo I moved around in my seat. <laughs> nice. That's pretty um, cool. Okay, as far as uh, flaps go, let's go flaps. Uh, flaps five for departure. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna take Charlie down. Um, yeah, we'll just we're gonna taxi to run with three zero left via Charlie. All right, let's just go on. And if it does what it just did, then I'll just start again. Uh, did you hear me tell you I'm not allowed to control the flap? It's doing it again, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. uh, it might be a thing for piloting command. Yeah, exactly. I'm allowed switches, but not control surfaces. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll set the flaps. That's fine. <coughs> And you just verify it. What? That I couldn't? Yeah. I no. tried to it. No, just verify that it's in the right detent. Yep. You got 10. Perfect. I was going to do 5 initially, but we'll, we'll do 10 all the way out of here. And uh, your trim, your trim uh, is it's in the green. green. Yeah. I just adjusted that a little bit more yeah. as well. Yeah. So I adjust it. All right, cool. 302 on the course, 250 on the speed, uh, 2,500 altitude initially at a 2,500 per minute climb rate. That's we'll get good. there pretty quick. I see that. Yep. We are going to get there pretty quick. So altitude, let's go ahead and just turn those on. Flight director's on. 2,500. Oh, you, you turn, that, turn all that on, huh? I yeah, yeah, because we haven't turned on the uh, master slave for the uh, what you call it yet. All right, oh, we're clear for takeoff on thirty left, so you can go ahead and flip our strobe lights on. It's the last one to turn on. Okay. okay. There you go. Nice. How about landing? Uh, yep, landing lights. Let's see what I'm I don't know if they're on or off. Uh, they're off right now. I got them. Yeah, they're okay. on my yeah. They're on my side. You let me know when you want landing. Alrighty. No, I, already, I just flipped them on. They're on my side. Oh, they're on. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, it's a lot easier that way. All right. We're doing the Be Good 2 Departure to Vichy Springfield Gully 1. God damn, this fucking car keeps fucking flickering. Keeps crashing and recovering, crashing and recovering. Is it just going to do this all day? And and that's because you're, the driver is stopping? Yep. Mine does that every once in a while, but not nearly as often as that. And it's that. still fucking doing it. I'm going to try to put it in windowed mode. Maybe it'll help it. And uh, let's see. While we're sitting here, waiting to take off, I'll run and get me a cup of coffee. I'm back. I got my Folgers Hazelnut. Alrighty, Excellent. All right, let me go ahead and advance. Where are we at? Three zero left. Yep, thirty left. Oh, yeah, I see it right. I got the, you got yeah. it at that detent, and we should just add it to speed is set two fifty. Take off power set. I'll call it 80 knots. You just verify on your PDF it's the same. 80 knots. There's 100. 100. 120. Yep. 
V1. 30. Rotate. One rotate. <laughs> this is pretty slick. I like yep. this. Positive rate. Go ahead and hit G for gear. Oh, uh, let's see. There it is. Let's see. Uh, see, I'm... Oh, uh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Uh, I tried clicking on it and it wouldn't let me. Oh, okay. I'll clean our flaps up for us. Let's see work. Cleaning our flaps up for us. Yeah, I had to go to window mode. It was kept crashing in, in full screen mode for some fucking reason. I don't know why. And then resize uh, your windows. Yeah, I don't know. All right. We're crossing over Freeze now so we can start a turn towards Snyder. It's 270 down there. This is, yeah, I see it. This is cool. Costing 2,500. We can go ahead and go up higher. Go ahead and set our altitude to uh, 150 if you can. On the altitude. Now, I had to zoom in. Let's see. Altitude. Plus. Hold the aircraft still. Oh. No problem. What do you want it dialed in? One five zero. For altitude? Yeah, 15,000, oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There you go. Ooh, nice climb. Yeah, I know. The clouds are cool. It's a moving target. <laughs> <laughs> We should be able to go to VR localizer mode oh. for GPS. And we should be able to set the altitude now. Autopilot's on. I if I zoom in a little closer, I got a bigger button to that. Yep. So managing speed, looking good. Twenty two hundred feet per minute. Yeah, uh, one. Yeah, you're, you're getting close. Fifteen. One five zero. One five zero looks good. Got a nice clean climb out of here. Yeah. Uh, we should be on course, but I don't think we are. No, we're not. You show them we're in the clouds. Yeah, we're in the clouds right now. We're in the soup, for sure. Okay, so nav GPS isn't listening to us, so I will take control of the airplane. <laughs> I hope. It really doesn't want to give me a... Well, let's we'll just use the heading selector then. Golly. A, a simple default airplane, we have problems. It's unbelievable. Ooh, we're, we're coming up to the uh, cloud tops. That's yep. cool looking over there off to the right. That's the... Uh, what river is that? Off on our right. That's, that's the uh, Missouri. Yeah. Is yep. it really? Oh, I got. We just went over. Kesa. Yeah, we're just flying. Yeah, if you look on our um, our uh, display here, the one on, on to your left, the big one, that's Casas. We just yeah. flew over. Well, it's no longer on the map now, but yeah, it was on there. Oh yeah. Okay. I was thinking that was KSTL. Yep. But, uh, All right. There's, we're over ten thousand oh, feet. Wow. So land lights are off. Everything looks good there. Uh, let's go ahead and increase our altitude to 220 on that altitude. Yep, 20, 22,000 feet. GPS Flight level. GPS mode, and then I hit VOR lock. There we go. Now we're flying on LNAV. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just saw it make a slight correction. Yeah, the airplane's flying itself right now. We're just, you know, doing what we do, manage it. <laughs> Oh, we can increase our speed. I didn't even think about that. We're over 10,000 now. So let's whoop up to... Where are we at? We were at 240. Oh, I'm increasing it now. We're going to be going over to Mach uh, 6.2 at first for our initial climb. And then we'll, we'll probably cruise at like 0.77. Let's see. We're coming up on uh, Claire. Oh, those clouds look awesome, though. Oh, We're yeah. busting through them. Oh, yeah. 
looks really cool. I mean, for, wow. for a default airplane, it's just fun to share a cockpit, you know? Sure is. I'm enjoying it. Although I don't see anybody in the pilot seat. Yeah, I know. I know. Good old FSX not giving us anything there. Oh, let's see here. I'm going to go to my air nav. On my, I use my phone as my little, little uh, flight computer here. Yeah, we'll make a turn on Springfield and we'll head over to, um, I forget what intersection that is. It's like the... After Springfield, we're pretty high today. Three eight zero. Sure are. Uh, what's our altitude right now? Twenty two. We should have contrails. Yep. I'll go look. All right. Boy, track IR is being a piece of shit today. There you go. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, I had to. I had to disable uh, track IR. It, it was being a piece of shit. God. Ooh. It's just it. It's because my monitor is so big, it just it's so hard to find a sweet spot for it. And then, like, I hit the reset button, and it just ruined the entire POV, so I don't know what happened with that. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm surprised. I wonder. Well, I'm sure you've messed with the profile settings for it. Yeah, I've messed with all that. Yep. Yeah, this cloud cover, uh, it just extends further to the west, and then it just kind of drops off like a shelf. Yep. But I'm gonna, we're going to shoot an ILS into Oklahoma City for sure. We departed St. Louis and we're going to Will Rogers, Oklahoma City. I've been there before. It's a quite boring uh, town. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I had to go there when they had the uh, National Rodeo Championships there. Oh, <laughs> wow. And I'm thinking... Oh, I don't need to make a motel reservation, and I get there. I had to live in my car for three days on a business trip <laughs> because every motel for miles around was taken up with cowboy. Wow! And you you go to the bar and you go in there, and each of these guys is dressed the same: white shirt, blue jeans, straw hat. It looked like a bunch of clones in the bars. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying to figure out what lakes those are to our right. Oh, uh, what lakes those are to our right? Yeah. Off to our right. Yep. Oh, that's the, uh, that should be Lake of the Ozarks. Like, that's what I was wondering. I, I'm, uh, I usually don't fly over to Lake of the Ozarks at this altitude. Oh, yeah, you're usually way lower. <laughs> Are you uh, still recording or online? Yeah, we're still recording. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm a prop kind of guy. I, I, that's why. I yeah. Ever no, fly. yeah. Nope, yep. Dad likes to fly prop planes a lot more than... Oh, general aviation aircraft. Correct. All right, I'm looking at the, uh, uh, the charts for Oklahoma City. 3-5 left, 3-5 right, 1-7 right, 1-7 left. Both, uh, they're all the... They're both uh, very, very big runways, so we don't have a problem with that. It's kind of our choice. Uh, I'm going to look at the winds out of there and then get what we need. But uh, as far as ILS frequencies go and stuff, I'm going to look up for the left side. I'm going to write this down on scratch paper, but left side is showing. we got a 9,000-foot runway. Uh, looks good. Where's our frequency? Oh, I'd have to look up the ILS. Duh chart that would probably make sense well first of all we're gonna get the let's get the winds first and then we'll make a decision from there <laughs> like uh, do what we should be hitting uh, we should be hitting um, Springfield uh, I'm showing 11 minutes uh, Springfield in 11 minutes oh shit 11 minutes on the Vichy to Springfield wagon, I yeah, uh, 67 nautical miles. This seems about right. Yeah, that seems about right. All right, looks like in uh, Oklahoma City, winds are 200 at Niner, 10 to 2 miles of visibility, few clouds at uh, 
2,500 feet. Oh, that's not bad. Or no, no, few, few at 25,000. Um, yeah, few clouds at 25,000 feet. Uh, Alt number is two yeah. nine or nine or five, so that's a uh, still high high pressure. And everything else looks pretty good. We got contrails. All right, I figured we would once we got up here to these heights. And we even have uh, contrails off the wingtips. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and increase our speed to our cruise. We're gonna do 0. 0.77 if it'll get to it. It's climbing pretty slowly, isn't it? Yeah. Eh, not bad. No, still, still powering through. I would imagine I can take a picture, which I hope I mm -hmm. just did. Oh man, yeah. All right. Uh, so winds are two zero zero. So we'll be landing at probably runway one seven. I would imagine. What do you think? Oh yeah, that's close. Close enough. But uh, what you said, nine knots. Well, they're two. Wind. Yeah, they're two zero zero and nine. Yeah, and. uh we have one seven or three five to choose from. So two seven zero. It's more way more south. So we're we're definitely taking one seven. So we'll probably land on one way, runway one seven right. Yeah, you're right. That's definitely Lake of the Ozarks down. Yep. There. Yeah, one seven right. I'm imagining it's going to be our option here. And I'm looking at it. There it is. It's by the terminals and all that. So we'll plan for an ILS runway one seven right approach. All right, so on nav one, we're gonna put one ten seven. Now our speed's starting to come up. We're leveling yep. up. Yeah, and we'll get a nose level attitude. Yeah, now. one ten seven on him, and our course is gonna be one seven five. So one seven five. Seven five. Yep. So it's set up for that. Um, one thing is for sure. I've got that, and I know where we're supposed to be there, but we need to look at the SID. So three thousand feet is where we're going to be um, intercepting at. The localizer at three thousand feet. Oh, really? That's pretty high. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll be doing three thousand feet to him. Uh, Want to download Gully One arrival, so I can see it. And who's flying? GPS? Oh my god, this fucking PC is such a piece of shit. Display driver crash and stop responding, and now it's back. It says it's still recording. I, I have no idea if it is. There's no way to know. Ah. Uh, we'll find out. It's a like I said, I, I, I have that problem with it this every once in a while, though. So I don't know if it's the computer or if it's their display driver. Yeah, I don't know. Hard to say. Oh, it's I know it's irritating. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some coffee. Okay. Fly the course. Will do. Stay the course. Will do. Yeah, guys. So as you know, the PC is just on the fritz, and I'm recording to an external drive. It seems to be doing all right with that, but I mean, it's just done. It's it's just a mess. It's not it, like this. The driver displays crashed on me so many times. <sighs> it's just frustrating. So new PC on the way, on the way. And I can't wait. Trust me. <laughs> 